going to install Sonar Cube on our Windows operating system. So uh, first we will see what is Sonar Cube. So Sonar Cube is an open source platform developed by Sonar Cube for continuous inspection of code quality to perform automatic review the static analysis of uh, code to detect bugs and uh, code smells on 29 programming languages. So after that, we will see how Sonar Cube works. So Sonar Cube is a code quality assurance tool that uh, collects and uh, analyzes source code and uh, provide reports for the code quality of your project. It combines static and uh, dynamic analysis tools and uh, enables co quality to be measured continually over time. So uh, let's get started. And uh, first we will download a Sonar Cube for Windows. So let me just search Sonar Cube download. And uh, here we will go to the first link. And here you will find many download options. So we will download the free version of uh, sonar cube so let's just click on download so as you can see it says thank you you downloaded well in a minute or a few seconds if not click the download link below so in our case downloading so let's jump to the another thing that is uh, uh, compulsory uh, in order to uh, use uh, sonar cube and uh, that is java jdk so uh, you need to download the latest or whatever the version that you have or you can use uh, java jdk 11 so let's go to the so when you uh, type java jdk 11 download you will find this link go on that link and scroll down and here you will find the yes you will find the windows x64 installer this is for windows others are for Linux and Mac OS. So, so when you click on that download link, receive this agreement and uh, download. Here it will ask you to enter your credentials for Oracle. So here you will enter your credentials of uh, Oracle account or if you don't have any account. So just click on the create account and you can easily create your account. So in my case, I already download this uh, JDK 11. So here you can see I already download Java JDK 11. So now I will just double click on it and uh, now it will install on our system. So you just next, next and it will all automatically download on your system. Okay, so Java JDK 11 is uh, installed. So now uh, we just need to set the path of uh, our Java JDK. For that, we will go to the C drive and uh, program files. And here you will find the Java folder. And here we'll go inside the bin folder. Now we will copy this path. And here we will open our ENV. Here we will open our ENV environment variable. So environment variables go to the environment variables and uh, here we will add a new environment variable here we will select our path and here we'll add a new path which is java jdk 11 and the value of uh, is your path that you copied so here we will add our path so when you select path and uh, click on edit so here we will add a new path for java jdk so we will paste so here we will paste the path that we copied so this is the path that we are entering in our system and uh, here we will okay okay and okay so if you want to cross check uh, the java is uh, so if you want to cross check java is installed in your system or not go to cmd and here we will type java hyphen hyphen version hit enter and if you get a response like this so it mean your path is correct and your java is installed on your system so now it's time to set up our sonar cube so here we will first extract this file because it's in zip folder so we will extract here so now 
where we will move this folder inside our C drive. So let me just change the path of our Sonar Cube. Double click on it. And here we will go inside the bin folder. And uh, you can see here uh, we are installing on our Windows system. So we will go with the Windows X64. So when you once you uh, set up everything, now it's time to run our script as an administrator. And uh, now it's uh, start the script and uh, it will take a couple of minutes. So wait for its completion. Okay, so the process is uh, up and, uh, and now we can uh, uh, connect this uh, sonar cube through localhost and uh, we will uh, choose the 9000 port which is uh, by default port and uh, uh, once uh, you are logged in first time the uh, credentials are uh, username and password are admin so here you can uh, change your password enter your old password and uh, now you can enter your own new password okay so update your password so this is uh, the welcome screen of uh, sonar cube where you can uh, choose the uh, project uh, like you are going with uh, bitbucket or github or G gitlab so it's up to you so uh, today i will create a ma project manually now uh, let me give a name to my project so this is my dummy uh, project so this is the dashboard of uh, sonar cube where you can set up your uh, project and uh, uh, find the bugs uh, if you if your application has any bug so you can uh, easily find from here uh, and uh, this is not it uh, i will create a, a video on uh, how to use sonar cube so uh, so get, connect with the uh, my channel so this is it for this video we'll meet in the next video thank you